I'm here today in solidarity with the Rohingya, the community that has come from Brisbane and Melbourne and Sydney to protest uh, Aung San Suu Kyi, who is here for the ASEAN conference this weekend. And we're protesting because there's 600 to 700,000 Rohingya on the move. Um, they are, there's ethnic genocide happening against the Rohingya in uh, Burma, Myanmar, and we're here in solidarity with the community saying to the Australian government, stop supporting the Aung San Suu Kyi government um, and pull out of the agreement that you have with the Myanmar government uh, to train Myanmar police and the army. At the moment, the Australian government in 2017 to 2018 spent uh, $400,000 on training this militia and there is killings, there is genocide as according to the United Nations against the Rohingya and the Australian government is prioritising business deals uh, with the Burmese government over human rights and this has to stop. So we, the Australian citizen, the population is also calling on our government to put human rights first. We are very uh, disappointed the Australians respond to this genocide. They have been sitting on the fence. They are not particularly condemning the, the action, but they are saying, oh, there is, you know, like uh, very political words, like sweet words, what we call. But no, they sh the Australians should be, should take a leadership role and say what it is. It is genocide and they acknowledge it as genocide and they must put their influence, their pressure to stop this. But in contrary, what disappointment the Australian government brought to us is they are funding the Myanmar army, the military, the, uh, the genocidal military. They're funding them. And in other words, they are encouraging Myanmar to continue their genocide. It's a shame. It's absolutely a shame. My name is Peter and I'm here with a group of friends from the democracy movements from Malaysia and from Thailand to show our solidarity to our friends here from the Burmese Rohingya community and to uh, because we all stand up for human rights especially at this time of the ASEAN summit we say people should put principle first our governments should put principle first before uh, business deals and before profit that's what we are saying here today human rights first democracy and freedom for everybody